Well, hey guys, we're back again today. This is part of a video series on things that we see happen at Carl's Mower and saw that really kind of frustrate and upset people and make them unhappy with their chainsaw, whether it's a steel MS-170 or an MS-362, okay? All the way up, the full line of chainsaws. So our last video, we went over flooding it, right? Pulling the rope and actually flooding it out and having to start it up. This video today is gonna just Actually, it's going to be a really quick one. I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to make a cut. You're going to see that it's going to cut really good. And then I'm going to hit the dirt and I'm going to make another cut. You're going to see right here real quickly what happens when we hit the dirt. So safety gear is on. Got my chaps. Got my ear protection. Dropped my helmet. I already ran this, so I'm just going to turn it on. Make sure the brake is on. put it in the dirt keep it out of the dirt keep it out of the rocks keep it away from the nails this is designed to cut wood okay firewood trees logs whatever right but keep it out of the dirt so there we go video two we'll be back soon with another one guys thanks for watching Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.